Hi, this is Hajir Najati with Legacy Circle of Bay Equity Home Loans. So the talk in the Washington right now is about the new tax code and the tax reform that's being passed. So we have invited Chris and Kathy with Your Money Matters, our tax experts, to help us understand the details about this new tax code. Hi, I'm Kathy White. I'm Chris Basom. We work for Your Money Matters, and that's a tax and accountancy corporation in Mission Viejo. We've been doing taxes for about 35 years. Today, we're going to talk about the exciting new tax bills that you're all facing because they're exciting. Well, we're going to start with our current revenue code as it applies right now to mortgage interest and property taxes. Then we're going to review the House bill that has recently been passed, followed by what has been introduced on the Senate floor. And then we're going to talk about the timing and what we're expecting to see from all of that. Fair enough. So current revenue code right now, we have mortgage interest is deductible up to a million dollars on your primary residence. We brought this handy visual aid. Primary residence is where you're living, so up to a million dollars on your mortgage interest, plus another hundred thousand of equity line of credit on two up to two houses. So we have a primary residence and we also might have um, my cabin up in Big Bear it would also be deductible. So that's what we currently have in place for mortgage interest. And how about real estate taxes? Uh, property taxes, any property tax that you're paying on either one of your residents are deductible as an itemized deduction on your tax return. So that's current revenue code. And now we're going to talk about the, the new code, uh, the new bill that just passed the House. It was introduced on November 2nd. And in that new bill, they're chopping the amount of debt that you can write off the interest from from a million plus 100,000 down to 500,000. And they're limiting it to just your primary residence. No so no more longer, Big no, Bear Lake. no, and no longer on your boat, no, no longer on your motorhome, no. no longer on anything else. And in that new bill, they're also limiting the amount of property tax you can deduct to $10,000. It's not really clear as to whether or not that includes more than one property on the property taxes. We think it's going to be limited to property tax on your primary residence because they're doing the same to interest. So interest only on primary residence under the House bill that just passed. Uh, now, how are they going to know how much my mortgage is? Well, there's an interesting question. Uh, this last year, and this is uh, our second visual aid for today, uh, this is a, a blown up version of a 1098. This is how your bank reports to you the interest you paid on your mortgage. And it used to just have things like the name of the bank, your name, your social security number, the bank's tax ID number. They added a couple of new things this last year. And this just was brand new in, in 2016 for 2016 1098s. You'll see that you'll also have the amount of indebtedness that this interest relates to and the origination date on the loan. So like I said, under the House bill that was introduced on November 2nd, they said that anyone whose home mortgage had originated before November 2nd, 2017, would be grandfathered. They then started publishing this little, this little doohickey here, which is, which is when your loan originated, and that allows them to tell us, you know, or tell you whether or not that's going to qualify. Now, we don't really think that that's going to be the final date. We'll get to that in a second. But right now, that date is set for November 2nd. So any mortgages that may be greater than 500000 that were initiated before November 2nd of 2017, we are under the impression mm -hmm. that it will be grandfathered and it may still be deductible Yes. going forward. So how about the Senate bill? So in the Senate bill, the home mortgage interest is not being discussed, it's not being cut, so current revenue code would continue to stand at a million point one. Um, but with the property taxes, there are no property taxes at all would be deductible. No state income tax, no sales tax, no property tax, no registration, none of that would be deductible. So at this time, we know that the House bill just recently passed, the Senate is currently debating their bill, haven't passed it at all. What happens if they both pass their bills? Because they don't match at this time, mm -hmm. so they would need to go to the joint committee. And at that point, they're going to argue between them and, and decide what, what lots, they will allow. Lots yeah. of amendments and right. changes. And, and these, the home mortgage issues in the bills right now are not, not the biggest things they're arguing about. They're the things that affect us the most. 
Uh, they're the things that you and I will, will really see impact our taxes, but they aren't the biggest issues that they're talking about. So if the House bill uh, goes to the Senate, which it will now that they've passed it, and the Senate bill gets passed by the Senate and goes to the House, and if that passes, then, then they'll fight it out, you know, and, and they'll decide what they're going to do. It's our impression, you know, from seeing this happen before, this isn't the first time the, the Congress has tried to pass tax legislation, uh, that they'll compromise and they'll come to some kind of a, an in-between position. Uh, that's where we think the date for the grandfathering of loans is, is going to change. It won't be November 2nd. Uh, we don't see this as happening even this year. Uh, because of the amount of time it's going to take, this year being 2017, uh, the amount of time it'll take to get through committee. Um, but we, we think that the, the loan amount will change. We don't know if it'll be a million, a million one, 750,000. You know, they could easily do that, just come right between the two. Uh, and they'll do something to property taxes. So our advice at this point, uh, and what we're recommending clients do, is quick hurry. You know, if, if you're thinking about buying a new residence right now, do it. Do it in a hurry. Get on it you know, and get that loan placed as quickly as you can. If you're sitting on a lot of equity in your house, you know, let's say you have a $300,000 loan and you've got three or $400,000 of borrowable equity out of that property, we think you should do that right now and then get that loan grandfathered so that you have all that money at really inexpensive interest rates to do something else with. So, you know, on either side, we think quick hurry, get hold of that money. And, and now would be a good time to do that before we see what's finally going to happen. Anything else there you want to add? Well, and we had discussed as well, even if for some reason the Senate decides to go ahead and approve the House bill without any changes, mm -hmm. um, we still don't see it taking effect in 2017. And there's a high possibility that the November 2nd date would change. So... Yes, absolutely. You want to just hurry up and, and close those deals that are in, in process right now and get started as, as quickly as possible. Well, so, so the other point you're making, though, is that even if things were passed this year, in 2017 yes. sometime, yeah. we won't see it impact 2017 tax returns. No. Okay, so it'll be for future tax returns, mm -hmm. Yeah, which is common to how they do things. So, Absolutely. with that, I'm Chris. And I'm Kathy. And we are Two Geeks Talking About Tax Code. <laughs>